Welcome everybody, it is John, and I am in Glen Rose, Texas, and I'm at a pretty cool location. It is called the Creation Evidence Museum. And I'm interested, I've never been to a Creation Evidence Museum. I'm interested to see what it's all about. I know there's some dinosaur tracks around here we're gonna to try to find too. So, follow us. On the sidewalk, they got some nice little shells, like fossilized shells imprinted in here. And look, there's some petrified wood. Look at these raptors. These are like the Jurassic Park dramatized raptors, but these are freaking awesome. Anyone that has velociraptors outside their museum is good in my book. Look here, we got more petrified wood as you go in to the museum. I apologize for the wind. We're going on in there. Yeah. This is a beautiful piano. Free flood world. Look at that. Wow. That is cool. That's an 1896 piano. There's evidence that humans and dinosaurs roamed the earth. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's Gutenberg's press replica. That is really cool looking. Let me go over here. We have a T-Rex skull, which is amazing. And it looks like a T-Rex print. Wow, that is so cool. What's that little guy there? Oh, wow, a little Stegosaurus. What is in here? I see some butterflies. Trying to see if there's any little Easter eggs in here to find. Oh, wow. Oh, this guy was hiding out up here. Oh, look, another skull. It's hard to see with a reflection. We got this little dude here. Oh, man. That is incredible. And then T Jr. down here. Wow, oh, look. Some dinosaur eggs. As well as, I'm guessing a footprint and a massive bone. Got these guys up here too. Look at him hiding out back here. What are you doing, buddy? That's a really cool dinosaur print right there. Check out this dinosaur leg. It's mighty big. Now over here, this was a pre-flood hyperbaric biosphere. It's simulating the atmosphere conditions of the pre-flood world. It's just a big chamber, but I guess it's it would simulate the atmospheric conditions at that time. We got a lot of fossils laying around here. That kind of a totem pole in the thing. Check out all this. That's a stomach stone. This is pretty cool. All source tooth. See that down in there? I don't know what we got over here, like another totem pole. Of this. Over here, look at these coins. Oh, look at these 
strips here. That is pretty amazing. Wow, that's written in the 1800s. Sheepskin Isaiah Scroll. Some more dinosaur tracks here. Snow pottery. Man, that's a big footprint. Some old Bibles. There's another footprint from the human. There is no real purpose There's underlying a cat. the experience of life. That's probably like a saber to the tiger. But in the creation model, you promise that the creator himself will return right here. and will read this. He should steal. 846 BC. It's pretty incredible. Got some interesting artifacts over here. Pottery from way back. Let's see what's over here. Some more scroll text. Check this old violin. Some people call them fiddles. Some people call them violins. Depends on where you're from, really. I guess what style of music you really play. Over here's another one. Three wise men. Some like old pottery with frankincense wearing gold we've been in. This is some discoveries made around here of some really old pottery. Look over here, that's a pile of oil lamps. That is amazing. Look at that. A stone. Got some really cool artifacts in here. And then we got what we got over here. Currency throughout time. Some of this gotta be very valuable. I say some people would love to have some of these in their coin collections. Oh, look, that's cool. I really like this guy. I've got his little bitty brother at my house hanging on the wall. And their even smaller brother, T the Rex, out in the car. And then up here is a giant mammoth skull. That is incredible. And then basically, here's our world over the, through time, through creation, they say. Then here's like Adam and Eve time. There's, I'm not sure is that, it's a lot of weird things going on. So it looks like the world's imploding. The outside is moving to the inside. There's a weird laser beam coming from outer space. I don't know, guys, I'm sorry. I'm probably butchering this, but I just, I, I find that humorous this way it looks. And here's where tectonic shifts happen. And it looks like Africa splits open and spills into space. This is probably like the destruction of Earth in the future. And back to the way it looked originally. Also, I've got some cool artifacts here to take a look at. That pipe. Is that an old peace pipe? Look at that dagger. We got a bunch of coins and stuff here. Alright, guys, so we have a recreation of Noah's Ark. This is highly detailed. 
look inside. Whoever built this put a lot of work into it. Then we got, got some gorillas hanging out down there. Got some uh, kangaroos and llamas right there. We got Mrs. Noah and some puppies getting dinner ready. Got some piggies back yonder. There's where they store their hay. And we got Noah here telling the snake to leave his cattle on. Got his dog. He's got snake. He's got snakes coming up behind him. Do you see that? He's got an ax over here to chop the snake's head off, but then that would extinct them, so. Oh, here's where they keep their food. Got their grains and oats and beans. If you look back there, I can't even tell what's back there. Oh, it's the little bird sanctuary back here. Then we got some raccoons playing with a little rabbit. Foxes and wolves. Look down here, got some potamers, rhinoceroses, zebras, giraffes. This is like a little Africa section. Oh, and here's the, here's where the dinosaurs were on the ark. We got the T-Rex, with the big dinosaur down there. Got several T-Rexes here. And over here we got the, the herbivores, the, the Triceratopses and Stegosauruses. We got uh, got a lady back here just hanging out with some bread. I guess that's Mrs. Noah. I guess that was Noah, one of Noah's children and wife up there. And here we got uh, the head button dinosaurs. Look, there's some down there just waiting. Man, you imagine being on this boat, like, and like these dudes up here just freaking get loose and like eat everything. It'd be awful. Then we got some more family stuff here. There's Noah. That's actually Noah. Look at all the food, the big bounty on the table. Then we got the livestock horses. We got some dinosaurs up above them too. Look, there's more dinosaurs down there. Hmm. There's a peacock. Oh, down here's the polar bears. That's some big freaking penguins. We got the pterodactyls hanging out. Got the woolly mammoths and elephants down here. Huh. And then big vats of something. So essentially there's Noah telling all the people, hey, if you want to live, get on the ark. We got some more artifacts over here. down this way because there's something really cool over here I want to check it out. Oh look at this. Some more antiquities from Apollo 15. Space shuttle launching. Check out this really old school car. It's got the old oil lamps. It's got a squonky horn on it. That is amazing. It's an Oldsmobile. Wow. Looks like the schematics of it. We got some Native American artifacts here. Got like a model size of a canoe. Some tools used by Native Americans. There's like a big trolla looking thing down here. And then over here, we got some more Native American artifacts. Check out this sleigh. Look at that. I always thought it'd be so hard to ride one of these. So hard. Now, I completely missed this while ago. That is an actual piece of Noah's Ark. Wow. This wall is made to look like layers of the earth with different, like, fossils throughout it. 
That dude is way bigger than that woman. Wow. There's some really cool artifacts down here. Look at all these fossils. up here. Six foot beaver. That's a big beaver. Wow. I think it's a saber tooth tiger. Fossilized dinosaur eggs. Stuff like this in the coal mines when he worked. You know what the oldest fossil in here is? This <laughs> <laughs> stuff is so cool. Look at that fossilized fish. So well preserved. All right, guys, there you have it the Creation Evidence Museum. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I had a hard time following their point, but they had some really cool artifacts in there, some really cool fossils. So I enjoyed it, but uh, it's kind of confusing to me. I, I, I just found the whole thing like, I mean, but, and it was no way, shape, or form a way to like try to prove or disprove creation with me. It's just, I thought it was a cool museum. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the channel and want to help support the channel, I sell t-shirts like this. I have a Patreon. It's too windy for this. See ya.